the number of vulnerable breeds is going up. It seems that more people want fewer, fewer types of breeds of dogs. Now this is really disappointing because all those breeds are unique, have lots of different characteristics. Now, my name is Bill Lambert and I am the Health, Welfare and Breeder Services Executive for the Kennel Club. We register dogs from 222 different breeds. Some of those breeds are registered in large numbers, some in smaller numbers. When those registration figures, which is the number of dogs born each year, when they drop below 300, we classify them as vulnerable. This year we've seen two breeds drop below 300. It's the Bearded Collie and the Miniature Bull Terrier. But these dogs still do make great family pets. Um, interestingly, this year we looked at the Rough Collie, and the Rough Collie, uh, it's halved its registrations. It's not vulnerable yet, but it's halved in this period of 10 years. So we're, we're, we've got one eye on that. We did have a great success fairly recently with Corgis. The Corgis, they were a breed that were very popular, particularly in the 50s and 60s, and they fell away in popularity, and they became a vulnerable breed. We then saw the Crown TV series, we then had the Queen's Jubilee, and suddenly people remembered Corgis again, and the, the demand for them went up. 